Okay, so now that we've made our nice little video um, detailing how to build um, the windows and doors, we're going to move into away from the Open Studio SketchUp plugin and into Open Studio itself. So there's two ways to do this. You can either find the file in your file folder or, and double click it and it'll bring it up in Open Studio, or you can click this little um, Launch Open Studio here. So here, um, there's a bunch of different tabs in Open Studio. We're going to go through some of them. We're not going to need all of them to do the heating and um, cooling load, which is what our, our goal is here. But we'll need some of them. The first thing you can see is we need to set the weather file. Now, you can um, download some weather files at energyplus.gov. I'm just going to set it and then leave that to you to um, download a weather file yourself if you need to. So we're going to use Wilmington, Delaware. And the other th thing we need to do is uh, import our design days from the DDY file. And again, we're going to use Wilmington, Delaware. So now we have our design days. You can see the winter design day is January 21st, and the summer design day is um, July 21st. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is the next tab is schedules, and we'll come back to that. Um, and then there's constructions and loads and space types. So the next thing we're going to do really is to purge the space types. So really in the space types that we have are the closed office, the electrical mechanical room, and the restrooms. So that's good. So we wanted basically to purge the space types so that way we don't have a bunch of junk when we go into our constructions. So now let's go into constructions. So now what we're going to do is purge the construction sets that we're not using. And so you can see um, we're going to focus on CZ4 um, construction type, construction set. But we see that our CZ4, if we go back to our space types, our, um, our CZ4 basically is what we're going to be using for all of our spaces. So, because we're in climate zone 4. So how the how this sort of Open Studio works is that construction sets contain constructions for each exterior surface, so walls, floors, and roofs, each interior surface, walls, floors, and roof, and ceilings, and then ground contact and exterior subsurfaces, and um, including fixed windows, operable windows, and doors. So this is nice because then you have a, a set. If, you're, if your building has a couple wings and each wing has a different sort of construction type, you can have a construction set for each wing instead of trying to have uh, you know, constructions for each individual room. So what we want to really do, though, is we need to modify this to match um, what we had in our, in our original drawing. So we're going to go to Constructions. And we're going to, again going to purge. And we're going to look for exterior wall mass climate zone 4. Why are we doing that? Because that's right here, exterior wall mass climate zone 4. And we want to basically, we want this to match what our wall construction is. Now, what our wall construction is, is 4 inch brick, half inch plywood, stud wall, R19 insulation, and 3 inch wall board. So um, basically, there's some of these things that are similar, but I'm going to get rid of all of our layers since we know what our layers are. So, and then what we really want to do is go over to the library, and we're going to basically first see if um, our materials are there. So let's first look for four-inch common brick in our materials. And so this is what's in basically in Energy Plus um, by default in the library, and you can see that four there's no even brick in here. So there's two different um, there's there's another way to get more materials. So what we're going to do is go into components and measures and find components. Now this is really important. If if you haven't um, already registered with the building component library BCL, then you would want to um, go ahead and register with the building component library. You can look at the Open Studio tutorial how to do that, and you'll have to insert the key that you get. Um, it's free. It's easy. So now what we're looking for first is that 4-inch common brick. So there's a whole bunch of different things we can search for here. 
but we're going to look for in the material we're going to look at an opaque so and we're going to put in brick so there's a bunch of four inch brick right here so that's great um so we are it doesn't matter you know um right now we didn't specify which brick so what we're going to do is just pick a middle of the road one which is 100 pounds uh, per cubic feet so that's the density of the brick and if we check this box and hit download then I want to show you what happens then if we go back to the materials here and we look for the BCL tag there's my brick okay so let me go ahead and just download um, the other components and it'll show you a little bit more of how to download these so our next thing is half inch plywood so we're going to type in plywood um, we're going to look for half inch which is right there click download perfect so now let's look for stud wall and the nice part about this stud wall is we have R19 fill in this um, stud so what we can do is we can look for one that's filled with R19 cavity insulation, which is great. So we're going to click that and click download. And then the last thing we have is 3 h inch um, gypsum board or wall board. So 3 8 inch is right here. So good. So then we downloaded. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring all those materials in. So you can see that we have all these materials downloaded. And you can also see that this is the layer of our construction, outside and inside. So um, what we're actually going to do um, is start from the outside with the brick. And then we're going to go with the half inch plywood and then the stud wall with the R19 insulation. And then the last but not least, we're going to go with the wall board. Okay, so now we have that our external wall mass for climate zone four, which is what we're using in our building. So all the walls are going to be like this. Okay. So, um, as an exercise, you could go through all of these different, the doors and the floors and, um, and all the walls, but I'm going to leave that as an exercise to you and I'll, and I'll do it in my model, but you can see how to make one different construction here. In the next video, we'll go over, um, some of the other aspects of the building, like internal loads.